Hello. In this video, I will explain how the intensity and amplitude of a wave decreases with distance, um, depending on whether it's a 3D, 2D, or 1D wave source. Let's start with a 3D wave source. A 3D wave source will propagate its energy uniformly in all directions, like the sun radiates its energy in all directions. Say, for example, we have a wave source that transmits power at the rate of P. So this power P will be spread thinner and thinner over a larger and larger spherical surface as the wave propagates. Since the formula for a spherical surface is 4 pi r square, we can write intensity to be the power of the wave source divided by 4 pi r square where r is measured uh, as the distance from the wave source. So obviously, the intensity is proportional to 1 over r square. And since intensity is proportional to amplitude square, the amplitude should be proportional to 1 over r. Now, how about a 2D wave source? A 2D wave source would propagate its energy in a plane, like the water ripple on the surface of a pond propagates on the surface of the pond. So if the wave source transmits power at the rate of P, then this power P will be spread thinner and thinner across a larger and larger cylindrical surface as the wave propagates. So we can write the intensity of the wave to be equals to P divided by 2 pi r times h. So 2 pi r is the circumference of this cylinder and h will be the height of this cylinder. So you can see quite clearly that for a 2D wave source, the intensity is proportional to 1 over R. And since intensity is proportional to amplitude square, the amplitude of a 2D wave source will be proportional to 1 over square root of R. Lastly, how about a 1D wave source? So a 1D wave source will only propagate its energy in one dimension. For example, like a laser beam. The laser beam stays very directional. So as the wave propagates, the power is always constrained in the same area. So it doesn't matter how far you are away from the wave source, the intensity is still the power of the wave source divided by the area, which is a constant area. It doesn't spread. So for a 1D wave source, the intensity is constant, and so is the amplitude. So there you have it. You have different formula, depending on whether it's a 3D, 2D, or 1D wave source, depending on whether the power is spread over a larger and larger spherical area, or a cylindrical area, or the area doesn't spread at all. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!